Plus it's all ink. It's great. It's easy to use. A lot of screen printers use it. And if you're first learning how to screen print, it's probably the safest thing for you to learn on, but it also kind of sucks. When you feel a Plastisol print, it doesn't feel very soft. You know, you can actually feel the ink on top of the garment. And maybe that's what you're into, but for me, I prefer a little bit more of a softer feel on my print. Soft hand feel, for those of you who are unaware, is uh, when a print is so soft, it doesn't even really feel like you're touching ink. It just feels like you're touching the fabric. Now, the best way to achieve that is by using water-based ink or discharge ink. Uh, definitely not Plastisol ink, unless you are using a soft base additive. And that's what we're trying today. I'm gonna use this Wilflex Epic Fashion Soft Base. We're gonna add this to some of my FN ink, and we're just gonna see how it feels on a garment. And the design I'm gonna be trying this out on is this hoverboard design that I made. It's on a 230 mesh. Wouldn't really recommend this for anything less than a 230 mesh. Uh, I feel like when the uh, soft base additive is combined with the ink, it just makes the ink really thin and you know, that wouldn't really work out too well on a 110 or a 160 mesh. So we're gonna try it on a 230 mesh. So I think I did something kind of dumb, but I'm not sure. I mixed 200 grams of this in a one-to-one -one kind of ratio. So that's 100 grams of FN ink and 100 grams of the soft base. And I did it that way because I saw somebody else do it that way on YouTube. But then I saw another video of someone doing it more like 100 grams of ink and 10 grams of soft base. So I think I maybe added a little bit too much soft base to this. But I don't know, we'll see. We're just gonna roll with it and see what happens. So I've got both prints here side by side. I've got the Plastisol on this side, and I've got the soft base mix on this side. The Plastisol, I don't know how well you can see this, uh, but you can definitely feel the ink as a separate layer on top of the garment. Now, it's worth mentioning that I'm using FN ink, which is advertised as having a soft hand feel, but it's not necessarily the same soft as water-based ink. Don't get me wrong, it's still pretty soft, but not water-based or discharge soft. Now here with the soft base mix, you don't really feel the ink like at all. I'm feeling the texture of the fabric here. It's very soft, but it's also interesting to notice the color difference. This print looks a little bit more vibrant because there's nothing reducing it, right? But this one, you know, it's a little, uh, it's a little more dull, not as vibrant. Uh, it's still a good print. It still looks uh, like a bright pink, but it's, it's not as vibrant as this one for sure. Now, when we look at the print on black, that's when we really start to see even more of a difference. This is a straight Plastisol print. Again, you can feel the ink on top of it. It's a good print, but it's definitely not soft. This, again, it's very soft, but you can almost barely see it. And it's interesting how it's changed it from a bright pink to more of a purple. But if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm really not that mad about it. I kind of like it. it. It gives it more of a vintage kind of feel. You, you kind of have to make that decision. Do you want your, your graphic to still be bright uh, or do you want to have a soft hand feel? I mean, you kind of make that trade off there. 
I think in conclusion, I would stick to maybe just doing this on lighter garments, like white or like a light blue or something like that, and then leave uh, the dark garments for more like a discharge kind of print. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think of the uh, soft base here. Do you think you guys will use it? I personally really like having a soft hand feel. It's probably a good option for those of us who aren't totally ready to make that leap into water-based printing. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.